Robinson. Uh, Dorian Ace, just, you guys, it's been a while. You guys have won a game here. Just what, what did that feel like? And what was it like kind of getting a chance to go kind of celebrate with some of the fans as well? Oh, it was great. It was like, I mean, it's just one of those things. Like, we, we worked hard, hard for a long time for this. And like, for it to finally come, it was, it was everything we thought it would be. Pitch the shutout comment from both of you. I guess first Dorian and then GG. But your know, thoughts on you know, it's been a while, a few years since Louisville's had a, a shutout. So your know, thoughts on when you're locking in the, walking in the locker room, see that zero up there? Yeah, I didn't even know that it was. It's been since 2013 since the shutout. And there's been some good defenses since then. So I mean, it's just one of those things like I definitely take pride in. It was crazy how I heard that since 2013. I'm trying to think who the D coordinator was back then, but that's crazy that's been since then. And it just felt good. I knew, like, I didn't care how many points offense scored, but I didn't care if it was 14 to 0 or 45 to 0. I just wanted it to be zero. I wanted to have a shutout because that's that means a lot. Coming from both of you guys, obviously, GG and then Dorian. You guys had a good pass rush Monday, really, really good pass rush today. Front seven played really well. Just what have you seen from that group in terms of the growth you guys have had over the last, I mean, it's only been a week, though, the last week? Well, uh, definitely getting, uh, knowing when pass is coming played a big part. So we got our dime package out there a lot today, like a whole lot. So when our dime package is out there, we can see up on the quarterback. So I say we had our dime package out there way more than Monday night. And so we definitely got to see up on the quarterback today. Yeah, I'm playing them like well on first and second down. So we get them in third and long so we can send the pressure. That was definitely a big key to it. This is kind of for both of you guys, but uh, compared to defensive coordinators in the past, uh, it just seems like, I know it's a small sample size, only two games. But it just seems like the defense is a lot more sharp compared to years past. Well, how much of that is Brian Brown, and how much of that is you guys in general? Uh, I mean, I want to, I'm not gonna compare to anybody, but I just know that Coach Brian, uh, Coach Brown brings a whole lot of juice. Like he's like one of us on game day. He got his headphones in, rocking with us. Like he gets hype with us. So like he's just the kind of D corner you want to play for. So like when he's hype and getting ready, it's like you want to go out there and do your best. Like you want to run through the wall for Coach Brown. So. I definitely feel like he brings energy and we feed off of him. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Like, we just, we attack. We attack. So, I mean, it's one of those things, like, we want to be on the field. Like, it's, it's never one of those things where, like, the, when the offense coming off, it's like, we got to go back on. It's, it's we're ready to go back on. So, every time it's just another opportunity to showcase our talents. Now, for both of you guys, just kind of talk about it. It seems night and day, the effort that you guys give in terms of stopping the run and really making that a point of pride. Just talk about the effort and the emphasis that's been put on the run game, stopping the run game this year compared uh, to last year. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things like you, we have to stop the run. If we want to make any improvements, that's where it starts. If we don't stop the run, then it would be no different than the previous years. Like, that's where it all starts. Every good defense has to be able to stop the run. Yeah, I'd say football, basic football one-on-one, -on -one, you have to be able to run the ball and you have to be able to stop the run. And this year, I feel like we're running the ball way better, and we're stopping the run much better. I, I wouldn't say we did great Notre Dame game, but we definitely we made strides, and then tonight we improved again. And it's all about effort, wanting to get to the ball. Like I said, we want to play for Coach Brown. We want to we want to do that. We want to uh, run through the wall for Coach Brown. So I feel like that plays a big role in, in it too. Was there something the uh, Brian Brown and just the defensive coaches in general wanted you guys to emphasize on? Emphasize on the practice as you prep for this game. Yeah, um, <clears throat> definitely communication. You know, we had a lot of mental errors in our first game. But, you know, that's that's how it can go first game of the season. But I mean, just doing the right things. Just like do your job, and then it's just after you do your job, just do it as hard as you can. Do it. GG, there's a little talk when the first depth chart came out of just the size of the defensive line, mm -hmm. obviously compared to some other some other offensive yeah. lines. But yeah, obviously you guys played well the last few games. Do you see that as a problem, or do you see that as kind of an advantage for you guys? I think uh, we definitely need it. in this defense. Yeah, you got to be lighter. Like you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be 300 pounds running around. Like we move every single play. We're moving, so you have to be quick, and it, it, it plays to our advantage. And I definitely think they hold their own. Like Monte only weighs probably like 250. TP probably like 245. Like they hold their own, and I only weigh 285. But I don't even think about it like that. But they, yeah, the old line would be wearing like 330. But it doesn't make any difference.